My fridge was apparently floating in the center of the shop. Those oil barrels were floating. This is from a Gullwing that uh, we grabbed out there. So I got the black one, the gold one. Then there's the blue one coming. One in Europe, it's not done yet. Special three pack, three from Japan. The Evo 2, the S72 C140 wide body and a 500 E6.0. The, the Gambala from Saddam's son. Is, it's in the safe place in Iraq. To get it exported is really hard because there's militias involved. Everyone wants to get their little, right. their cut. Monday morning after the Rick Ross car show. Moving the fast, we buying the most. Bringing it in and they got on a boat. Talking my name and I go as you throw. Smoking the greatest cause I am the goat. Love how I live, ain't no love for my foes. Come to the crib, me my plug in the rope. These bitches like me, you real lie. Boy, you think I give a fuck about a post? Bitch, you think I give a fuck about a comment? Five different cars, we got nothing in common. My bitches talk like they hooked on Ebonics. Took off the roof and then move electronic. Benz 92 when we still smoking chronic. You don't fuck with me, relation platonic. Chains on my neck like no slavery or bodice. Ain't it ironic? Being the coldest that made me the hottest. I buy it all up like fuck being modest. My whip a classic, I keep it polished. Pull up a brevis, you should acknowledge. Need a form for everyone in the fam. Swiping legit and we don't need to scam. Smoking on something that's 40 a gram. Taking shit over was part of the plan. Yeah. I just pull up as she chose Roll the sticky, never out of my nose I'm dropping cash, I don't care about a quote Amplify the hustle, change the approach My cars come bulletproof just like the Pope I cannot live like you regular folk She gets to praying and I give her hope The amount of water in here was crazy What happened? I guess there's like storm drains that the city can open To let the storm waters go to the ocean, right? And it just never happened But there was water a foot and a half off the ground I mean, I've got photos of the cars up front, you know, the front end's totally in the As soon as the city opened the drains, maybe like an hour later, two hours later, all the water was gone. My fridge was apparently floating in the center of the shop. Those oil barrels were floating. If it wasn't bolted to the ground, it was floating or tipped over. I mean, it was terrible. It goes to your shop. Look, look, this is my niece. Look at the street. Fuck. Look at my, my car. You lifted it? No, I wasn't. I was fucked already. I was busting the phone, the freaking city to try to come. Yeah, hey, you gotta come and open the freaking drains. Come on, man. But I was floating everywhere, man. Everywhere in Boca, man. man. It's the word. In here wiping down show cars. Made it back from transport, hella dirty. Millionaire should have definitely gave niggas a warning, like, yo, this bitch gets hella dirty. That's some driving on the, on the grass. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was. Everyone was kicking up dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. So we're here, we're back at the showroom. Wiping down the fin tail. Unfortunate things going on. So, appears that while this was on the truck, the car above it, which was the Gull Wing, I believe, had leaked some type of brake fluid or something that causes reaction with the paint. It's looking like we might have to sand down this whole section right here and repaint the trunk to get it back to how it's originally supposed to be. It's really, it, it sucks so bad because this was the the one mint thin tail we had. It's really, it's, it's sad, bro. Like, it, it hurts me, it hurts my heart to see it, to even be dealing with this. And it's honestly, I'm gonna take on that. From now on, we just have to have the cars covered up no matter what, you know? We can't take any chances with these cars. What's this? It's a package I got from Saudi Arabia. Might be from my boy, Khalil Nabil. This is from a Gullwing. That uh, we grabbed out there. So let's see. From the blue gold wing? Yeah, this is for the blue gold wing. Oh. So there was a piece of candy on the gold wing when they sold it to us. And I told him to give me some of that candy. I was just joking, but I guess he took it literal and sent me a whole box of it. So I have some candy, guys, from Saudi Arabia. Mm. The King Victor. This is from the royals out in the Middle East. So this is special, special literature, I think, sent from my boy, SGS Galwin. This is from Saudi Arabia, 1972. Wow, incredible. 
Damn, that's sick. Thank you, Khalil, my brother. So you gotta see what the first for... impression is. Oh, is haze in the... It's like a... Bagum. Yes, guys. Dogwood. Man, I just don't know, bro. There's so many different cars coming from so many different places. So many things happening at once. I gotta look. You can never tell when these cars are coming because they just leave and then you don't you know when them. they get. Mm. Right now, I'm just getting candy from Saudi. Saudi hazelnut chocolates. Finally, we went to awards as usual. Imagine if we actually tried to go there like with the intention, like, nigga, we gotta win. Next year, I'm trying to do a five goal wins with the doors of. I would go crazy. That would be insane. All next to each other. So I got the black one, the gold one, then there's the blue one coming. One in Europe that's not done yet. Nigga. But they all have to have the doors. The doors out of work, yeah. bro. All, yeah, they all gotta like, be like. Flawless. Like. <laughs> Out this office, like, yeah, it looks way better, dude. I want this place to be clean and stay clean. Yeah, it's a key drop on the side, so if you guys are ever moving cars, you don't gotta worry about putting the keys back, just drop in the side. There's that because I'm pretty sure we had a key float away into the ocean. So, <laughs> how are these cars doing? Have you started them? Yeah, I started every car except for the red one, and they all start up fine. I mean, they're vintage. Benzes, there's nothing like right in stuff. terms of like electrical stuff. Yeah, there's no front Sam on a 107. Yeah, so they all start up just fine. There was the water never got high enough to get into the engines. Uh, Julio's gonna do his magic on the carpets and the interiors. The, the water was so quick, you know, as quick as it came, it left. I'm gonna take these cars to Lakewood. We're gonna take the MAE and the 265s. Okay. And then this one I'll put back in my bay after because I'm gonna work on that one. This one we can take to the showroom after. What's up with your 140? Is it toast or? I don't know, bro. I haven't even touched that shit yet. <laughs> It's the stadium, but um, these cars have been sitting a while and this one didn't have no gas. We were Stuck. trying to make it. We tried to make it, we ain't make it. So now, right now, we're just waiting on our uh, our triple A guy. <laughs> <laughs> 589 gas. Yeah, you're struggling to make it off. Up the the hill. exit, yeah, bro. That shit ain't have no power. You think it's just like sediment got pulled up into the. 100% every time that these cars run empty, you put gas in them and then they just run like absolute ass. What does it sound like? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ass. <laughs> I got the MAE to run slightly better, and I think that should get us there. This is for one of the AMG cars I'm getting painted right now. This car's been getting painted for over a year. It's gonna be done soon. Why would you package it like this? Packages. Much, much later. All right, yo. We got more packages right now, guys. Ooh, I know what these are. These are special, special carrot brochures. Look at that. That's crazy. That's, that's amazing. Fine. So that's this right here. That's the 190E carrot. Let's go through this. So this is the guy. That's him. This That's is Mr. Carey. Yeah, this is Frederick Duchatelet right here. So 
This is people working on interiors, iconic interiors. Damn, that looks so nice. Uh, SEC interior. This one has the same rims as the white one here. There you go. ATS. ATS? ATS. These are all, these are all going to be exotic cars. I'm sorry, dream cars. Fresh out the seal, guys. It's Shout dream. out to uh, Ian Kuha. Yeah, Ian Kuha. My brother. I might keep the bulletproof here, though. Because it's bulletproof. It's nice. So let's take this one, one the carrot, two. and the Lorenzo. Yeah. Okay. Five hundred SEC Lorenzo, Brabus six zero, carrot one ninety. A gas station with class. We made it without incident, baby. Guys, it's a humid day right now. We're in Florida, greatest place on earth. Tina Collective, we got a special three pack straight from Japan. It's the Evo 2, the S72 C140 wide body, and a 500E 6.0. Let's go. Evo 2 from Japan. Quarter million dollar car, won't start. Won't start. What? I'm not trying to push it off. Why won't it start? Battery? No, no it's not starting. When I showed up, the alarm was still on. Oh, so I used the key, can. I locked it, I locked it. Uh -huh. But the jump box was still dead. So, uh, I still don't think we have spark though. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's see for power. I got the jump box. Go ahead. Starting. Yes, yes, yes! Keep pushing the gas! Keep pushing the gas! Keep pushing the gas! a good way what they did to it shit right now that's a c140 s72 wide body one off this is over from japan oh, this is insanity what's your first thoughts on this this is disgusting one of my this is my new favorite right now disgusting look at the back it's so clean look at the, ass. the wide body goes all the way through there and the fucking Side panel. This nothing. This is, it's not really this place. Yo, let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay. Just wash it. That's it. That's a sick car. What do you think, Dan? That's insanity. <laughs> that is crazy. It has everything you want from AMG. Where's I've never from? seen. I've never seen a wide body version of this car. It's amazing. Where's it from? It's from Japan. It came out of a Japanese auction, and you never know when you get them, like how good the car is. This one has everything you want. It's shocking. S72. Evo 2. You can put it in the shape for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> they literally left it like with cooking oil on top. Like, okay, bake. <laughs> you have to make their breakfast here every morning. <laughs> Bacon. That's how you got it for under 300,000. You got to buy yeah. them like this. 100%. But the rest of the car is very nice. Like, the interior is great. No, but we knew because we got a full inspection when we bought it. But it's like, we just wanted it. We just want to repaint it. Bro, every time we tried to get one, yeah. we lost. Well, it goes go for 300. So you tried purchasing another Evo 2 already? Yeah. Three, four times already. We really? Just, we kept getting bit, outbid. 
I'll bid, I'll bid. No, we got it's it. Like, it's like you have to have a mental, you have to have a little bit of like sanity about what you're yeah, gonna go with. Otherwise, you're gonna go to three, four hundred, and then it just gets crazy after that. Yeah. That will have to tell. Yeah, there's no other option. Running, <laughs> and then we're gonna get over painting and full restoration. Tell me real quick what it is. Five hundred E six point oh hammer, sedan from Japan. Okay. Yeah. Straight. There's Japan there. That's weird. It's supposed to be right there this time. The German car is sent to AMG Japan. Yo, can you get the lease blower, please? Go grab it. I can't leave the engine on this. Yeah, no, okay. I'm not. I'm gonna blow this out for now. Yeah. Uh, engine well, sounds pretty good. Yeah, it's really smooth. Okay. Engine is low, the oil. Yeah, all these cars are coming like that. We need to service it completely. You know, new fluids, yeah. so they're fresh, you know? Van out as far as you can. So we need this room, and I'm gonna start because I gotta rearrange shit while you're watching. If you wanna push the cars here in the shade, so you can watch it here, and I can pull out the G wagons and shit. I just wanna fix this so I can at least pull them in when you're back. Here. Uh. We just said screw it. We'll get two new rear calipers and I'll just rebuild the front ones. Nice. And that's what's been going on. I just packed the front wheel bearings, set those. What's your outlook for the week? Get this out of here. Get the fifth hill out of here. Windchill should be here for it this week, so that'll be gone. Um, I'd like to have this G Wagon gone. What's the status of those turbos? Turbos are here. Our turbo is here. So get the G-Wagon out of here. Start on that SL. What's wrong with that one? That one is misfiring. These cars never really just have like one problem. Of you know? course, of course. Like, I'm going to be honest. I walk into all these cars like super naive and I'm like yeah. building up my hopes. I'm like, you know, I can do this in a day. You know, I can fix this one problem and the car's going to be good. It's never like that. But the problem is these cars keep stacking up. Because I was working on Benny S, and then I pulled off of that, start on this, and then I pulled off of this, start on that, and then I came back to this, and then I jumped on that, and I'm back to this. I love like all these weird little things about these cars, and uh, to my knowledge, the, hom the homologation rules for a 190E Evo 2 said that your rear wing couldn't block the rear view of the car. So what did Mercedes do? They just put a cover over the rear windshield. So that way, if you look out the, the rear view mirror, you couldn't see the wing. But it's the same 190E glass. And yeah. this was kind of like their workaround for the rules. I loved it. Cool car, man. Brake hoses, three inches too short. I can't even connect them to the- Oh, which one for the front? The front shit. to lower it down and put everything back on and... Oh, so you're done? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. wrapping it up, okay. Nice. Uh, I'm about to, hopefully in the next hour, so in the next hour it's gonna be down. It's gonna be done. Cool. And we're back. These are actually really mint, so I didn't wash the outside yet because right. like they're gonna, gonna be work. working on it. So all I did was the interior, I conditioned all the leather, cleaned it, Cleaned up all the carpet, so it's actually really nice room. Yeah. Shiny. Fresh. No, for sure, the leather looks great, man. But then after, once it gets serviced, wa uh, I'll give it the wash, detail, and then I'll, because the car, look, it's clean, but it's yeah. still dirty, like, so yeah, once right. I hit it, then you'll see the real shine. What it's is it? Huge. It's a crab. The robot crab. Oh, 
Oh shit. <laughs> Look, yo, yeah, my ass a whole crab. It's a fucking crab, man. Yo, that shit's probably been here since the flood. Hey buddy, you're lost. We're just trying to help you get out of Where here. Where are we even putting? Damn, bro. Oh, come on, dog. At least it's not an alligator. Oh, you got, you got me. Not good. Oh, that was... <laughs> guy. Look at him. Quite some ways from the crusty crab, homie. Yeah, he really... Here's the Evo 2. How are you? Good, brother. We got the mic back ready. I already test the audio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna bring it over. Waiting to get another part for the other the cooning that we're doing the brakes. After that, we're getting into the other cooning with the tune up. Yeah, driving. I was gonna ask what's the status on uh, the Evo 2. We had a problem, it wasn't running. So we performed a test on the fuel system. It was low in fuel. So we put some fuel and still won't, won't run. So it has like a little problem on the realize it was a miscontact with the fuel pump. Realize that we had it fixed. It has been fixed. Now the car runs and drives. No problem. Now we're going to the next step, full body painting. And, and now it's just yeah. the cosmetic stuff. Yes, cosmetic, new tire. You just need TLC, that's it. Right. You know, a little TLC, that car will look nice. Hello. What's going on? Doing an oil change. Brakes are done. Um, I'm only going to drive this for a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's it's a roadie. One bolt's enough these days. Oh yeah, one bolt. What's going on at Satin Auto Detail? Start cleaning some cars over there. We got the mobile detail station going on. Satin details goes all over. I want to do the two SLs. Those, those all right, pull out the blue one. Blue or yellow? Get first. I think the blue is looking a little dirty. Blue's definitely dusty right now. Yeah, that windshield. This is why I wanted to touch them up. But the yellow wheels looking crazy. Can't be having that. Not at not at the patina yeah, collective. Not. So I found two cars in Abu Dhabi. It's an SEC right hand drive, a green SEC, and a W123 AMG, a blue one, but it's a limousine. Oh, that green is dope. It's like a C green. Yeah, it's different. Oh yeah, that was in Afghanistan. No, 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 it's in Iraq. I'm trying to talk to the guy. It's a, it's a Gambala that belonged to Saddam's son, or Saddam himself, I'm not sure. What did that guy say? Ali Ahli is telling me that the car, the, the Gambala, the hatchback one, it's in the safe place in Iraq. It's not going to get stolen or anything. But the problem is to get it registered and to get it exported is really hard because there's militias involved and all types of like small groups. It's not just like you go to the government and register the car. Yeah. There's all these other people that want to be involved and get money out of it. So that's what we're dealing with right now in Iraq. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This is not fucking Carvana. 